Hi, this is Julia from Massage by Julia. I'm a mobile massage therapist, cancer exercise specialist, uh, certified lymphatic drainage therapist, and certified lymphedema therapist. Um, I wanted to talk to you in today's video about the three best ways to move lymph through the body. And the one of the ways is doing deep belly breathing, which I showed you in one of my previous videos, but I'll do really quick here. Um, you can do this lying down on your back on a surface like your mattress or the floor, or you can do it seated in a chair like this, or you can do it standing up or in your car too at a stoplight, <laughs> not when you're driving so much. Um, when you breathe in nice and slow, you're going to pooch out your tummy really exaggeratedly as if air is coming all the way down here, which it isn't, but you're going to imagine that. And then nice, long, slow exhalations and you're squeezing as you're exhaling, squeezing your abdominal muscles really, really, really hard. They say bring your belly button to your backbone. That's the image. And that will flush lymph up to the throat area, which is the ending point of your lymphatic system. And again, inhale. And exhale and squeeze. And do this several times. Uh, that's the best way to move lymph through your body and that's actually how all of us are supposed to be breathing all the time not way up here in the chest um, the second best way to move lymph through the body is to use the largest muscles of the body which are your thighs and your hips and your glutes so let me stand up how do we move our thighs and hips and glute muscles and our you know quads and hamstrings the best way is marching in place. You're lifting your legs. You're getting the lymph pumped up all the way from your feet, all the way up to the throat. Simple. And if you get bored, you can change it up. Go like this to the side. Just march in place. Or you can do squats. So if you want to do them this way, wide stance with your feet out at an angle, back nice and straight, can come down as far as you can and do some squats like this. Okay, this is going to bring the, the flow of the lymph all the way up. Or another way to do squats, sit, stand in front of a chair if you want, you don't have to. You can come down as if you're going to sit down and not quite and come up. I can fix my feet a little bit, a little wider. I sit back as if I'm sitting and come up. And if you need to put your hands back lightly, if you don't have good balance, this will strengthen your legs and start pumping lymph, pumping lymph fluid all the way up to the throat. These are squats. Try to be careful that you, your knees don't go past your toes. So that's the second best way to move lymph through the body using these large muscles. The third best way is just hire somebody like me and you have to be very careful. You want to make sure that you hire a certified lymphedema therapist to do lymphatic drainage therapy on you or a certified manual lymphatic drainage therapist. A certified lymphedema therapist will have the letters CLT after their name. A certified manual lymphatic drainage therapist will have the letters CMLDT after their name. So either one of those will be the best option for you if you want somebody to come to your home or apartment to do lymphatic drainage therapy on you. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.